In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to synchronize the iPod for the first time, how to plug it into your computer via USB, watch it boot, then register the iPod, and then sync an app from the computer to the iPod. Let's put an iPad, iPod into your uh, computer. Um, you have it all unpacked? Yeah. Yeah, so... And that'll hook into your computer. And so oh, on, so I always know how to match the little picture. So like same place that you'd hook in the printer. Is that right? Come on up there. We got to fit. Yeah. So this is a USB cable, but it happens to look very different than... Uh, Okay, now we're going to watch the screen change. You want on that? Uh, actually, we'll watch that screen. The Apple logo comes up there. And this screen will change eventually. Okay, it shows that it recognized it. You can see on Becky's screen, the iPod Touch has shown up. Oh, right here you're talking about? Exactly. Oh. Is it doing anything? So go ahead and say uh, continue on that screen. Sorry, I wasn't watching. More agreements. <laughs> if you want to watch this, I'll watch your I think you might have to scroll your other screen down to you. Okay, I agree. Continue. Again, this is a process you only have to do once because you're synchronizing. You're repairing this iPod to this computer. Back to it. Interesting. That did it. Um, so I clicked away and clicked back. It persists. <laughs> Becky's logging in with her Apple ID here. So now we're registering the iPod with uh, with Apple, and okay. they now you they know who you are. Oh, goodness! <laughs> submit. 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 Oh, I submit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you can name it. Whatever you want to name it. <laughs> Wait. The name goes right here. Yes. We can't when stick you... with SES. Which oh, you should. Like <laughs> you can. <laughs> I mean, am I going to have to type it very often? Or no, uh -uh. but something short is kind of nice. Okay. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Whatever you like. Mm. Pancakes. Do you need to write down? No, no. No. Oh, good. It'll, I, it'll always show up. So now you can really see. Good. See over in that left-hand column. See how it's named SES New iPad. Right here, or, I see that. Oh, and over here. Or B okay. B W iPod. Yeah. Yes. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we're making progress. So it's saying oh. Evernote was not installed on the iPod because you are not authorized for it on this computer. Okay, the camera here. Sure. Uh, to authorize this computer, you must go to uh, choose store authorize this computer. So I'm going to choose store. Got to click OK first. Store. That's At least it's not me. Okay, so I'm choosing store, and I'm going down to authorize this computer. Oh, okay. And I, once again, this is your iTunes password. The one I've been using the one today. Been, yeah, the one you created today, okay. exactly. Thanks for <laughs> sticking with me on this. So, do I want this one? Yeah. This computer is on the other end. So, what is including this one? You have authorized one computer out of your available, available five. Five. I have five computers. Well, you need to go to SES. Um, BW. In this case, the app has already been downloaded on the computer, and we're just making that app um, synchronized to the i the iPod. And click apply. Interesting that it didn't know that already, but it did. Um, so, and Cindy and I found this too, is we had to repeat some steps to make things work sometimes. So, but I think that this, it's really good that we're taping this because you can stop the tape and, and yeah. Now, uh, is Evernote showing on there? 
little elephant. I don't have my glasses, so. I don't see an elephant. Okay. I do not if you either. scroll, so here's how, if you scroll that way. Ah, there. uh, there it is. So you and see, that's how much I can you point it to the camera and, and show us how that works? Nice there. It says it's down. 